Today, we have two very interesting 16-inch laptops in the studio. On the left, we have the ASUS VivoBook S16 that's powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon X processor. And on the right, we have the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 5i 9th Gen that's powered by Intel's Core Ultra 5 125H processor. These are very capable laptops for most of the things you do and they cost around the same price. But you might be wondering which one is the better deal in terms of features. And most importantly, can a Snapdragon-powered laptop be as capable as an Intel-powered one? Let's find out. When it comes to build and design, the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 5i definitely grabs my attention with its all-metal design that feels very premium and robust. But despite that, it doesn't have a one-handed display hinge which doesn't feel premium at all. But that is available on the ASUS VivoBook S16. And this laptop also comes with a pretty nice discrete matte grey metal chassis that gives it a pro look. Although the IdeaPad Slim 5i has a pretty nice premium build, it has sharp edges that makes it uncomfortable to rest my palm on while typing and can create marks on my skin. And it is a pretty heavy laptop at 1.89 kilograms. The ASUS VivoBook S16 is a lighter laptop at 1.79 kilograms and has a wider palm rest area with smooth rounded edges that feels more comfortable to rest my palms on while working on it. It also has a better keyboard with larger keys and better key travel, and its trackpad is also wider and supports gestures for adjusting speaker volume and screen brightness. When it comes to I.O., both laptops have very similar physical ports and the IdeaPad Slim 5i even comes with a micro SD card slot for storage expansion. But despite that, the VivoBook S16 has faster USB-C ports that performs at 40 gigabits per second as opposed to USB-C 5 gigabits per second on the IdeaPad Slim 5i. The former lets you connect to high-resolution monitors and high-speed external storage devices. It also has a HDMI 2.1 TMDS port that supports up to 4K 60Hz output as opposed to HDMI 1.4 on the IdeaPad Slim 5i that only maxes out at 4K 30Hz. The VivoBook S16 continues to own the IdeaPad Slim 5i with an OLED display that pushes 1200p resolution at 60Hz, while the latter only has a matte IPS panel with the same resolution. The VivoBook S16 obviously offers better visuals with deep blacks and great contrast that makes it really enjoyable for viewing content for long durations and watching movies. Not to mention that it has better sounding speakers than the IdeaPad Slim 5i as it is powered by Snapdragon Sound and supports Dolby Atmos. Both laptops come with 1080p webcams that will work fine for video calls. They also come with an IR sensor that supports Windows Hello for faster logins with your face. But the VivoBook S16's webcam comes with AI tracking that makes it aware of your presence. Once you turn your face away from the screen, the laptop screen dims, and when you walk away, the screen turns off in a few seconds and ASUS Adaptive Lock secures the laptop. It turns back on instantly once you come back. This not only saves power but also offers better privacy. Not to mention that the VivoBook S16 has a Microsoft Pluton Secure Enclave that's built directly into the CPU that saves pass keys and sensitive data. Like I mentioned in the beginning, both laptops come with very capable processors that will work very well for productivity workflows. The IdeaPad Slim 5i has an upper hand though with 32 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM as opposed to 16 gigabytes on the VivoBook S16. But despite that, they have one terabyte of storage which can be upgraded if you want to do so in the future. And I find both laptops to be equally responsive in launching apps and even on apps that doesn't support the ARM architecture, the VivoBook S16 performs just on par with the IdeaPad Slim 5i. In addition, the VivoBook S16 is a Co-Pilot Plus PC that gives you access to several exclusive features on Windows 11 that you don't get on the IdeaPad Slim 5i, such as the Click to Do feature that lets you select items and text on screen for performing web searches, rewriting text, and make creative changes to an image. In Microsoft Paint, you also realize that the VivoBook S16 has a lot more features than the IdeaPad Slim 5i, such as Co-Creator that turns your sketches into artwork in real time. My favorite feature is the sticker generator, which works really well for inserting stickers into my artwork. You can also remove a picture's background and select the object to be inserted into a different background. Finally, there's also Windows Recall that lets you recall back the actions that you have done on the laptop, such as a document or a website that you have visited before, which is really useful if you have forgotten something and all these things are secured on the laptop and no one can access unless 
with your authentication, which is actually really useful. And all these features that I mentioned before are only available on a Copilot Plus PC like the ASUS VivaBook S16. Both laptops have relatively large batteries with the IdeaPad Slim 5i having a 76 watt hour battery as opposed to 70 watt hours on the VivoBook S16, which in this case you might think that, oh, the VivoBook S16 is going to have inferior battery life than the IdeaPad Slim 5i, but that's not the case here because the VivoBook S16 has up to 17 hours of real world battery life as opposed to just seven hours on the IdeaPad Slim 5i. This is all thanks to the Snapdragon X processor that is more power efficient with a four nanometer process. And what's even more impressive is that it remains dead silent even when it is under full load and performs at full speed. This is a clear advantage of owning a Snapdragon laptop over an Intel powered one. Ultimately, the ASUS VivoBook S16 has a clear advantage over the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 5i in many ways as a Snapdragon powered laptop and it undercuts the latter with a 3699 ringgit price tag as opposed to 4499 ringgit, which is pretty significant even though I say it's around the same price and considering the IdeaPad Slim 5i has such data ports and inferior screen and lesser battery life, it's hard to even recommend one once you have tried the ASUS VivoBook S16. But anyhow, would you rather pay more for an Intel based laptop or go for the ASUS VivoBook S16 with the Snapdragon X processor? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more videos coming right up and I will see you in the next one.